If you want to know how active cold therapy compression units work and their benefits, you came to the right place. Hi, it's Steve from My Cold Therapy and Supply Cold Therapy, where we help people get back to living. If you're new here, make sure you click that subscribe button and all the links to everything we mentioned in the video where you can find linked in the description box below. Now let's jump right into it. Active cold compression therapy is a common treatment option for post-surgery recovery that aims to reduce swelling, inflammation, and pain in the affected area. The therapy involves use of a device that applies intermittent compression and circulates cold water over the surgical site. The combination of cold therapy and compression helps to impact blood flow, reduce inflammation, and reduce muscle spasms, leading to less pain and a faster recovery process. One of the main advantages of active cold compression therapy is that it's non-invasive and easy to use. It can be performed at home and is an affordable treatment option. However, it is important to follow instructions provided by the manufacturer and your doctor, and also to monitor your skin for any adverse reactions. Another benefit includes decreased usage of narcotics following surgery. Opioids are frequently used by patients following orthopedic surgery. Limited narcotic use can decrease potential side effects and dependency associated with op opioids. Opioids are a big problem in our country now and the less we can use them, the better. So what kind of cold therapy machines provide active compression therapy? The Breg Polar Care Wave, Omni Ice Pulse Compression System, and the Aircast Cryocuff System are examples of active cold compression therapy devices that are available for purchase on mycoldtherapy.com and supplycoldtherapy.com. We're going to be doing a, a review video of all three of these machines and they'll give you the pluses and minuses of each, each one. They all have benefits and they all have slight drawbacks. So please look for that video. We'll drop the link when we do it down in the description box. These devices combine cold therapy with intermittent compression to reduce swelling, inflammation, and pain in the affected area. It's designed to be portable and easy to use, making it a convenient option for post-surgery recovery, especially if you're at home. Now, there have been several studies conducted on the effectiveness of active cold compression therapy in post-surgery. One study published in the Journal of Orthopedic and Sports Physical Therapy found that using a cold therapy compression device after knee surgery resulted in significant reductions and swelling, pain, and the use of pain medication. Another study published in the Journal of Arthroplasty found that using a cold therapy device after hip replacement surgery reduced swelling and pain and also improved range of motion. Now I am gonna add in here, if you're having shoulder surgery, you probably do not wanna use compression in the first two weeks. So get yourself a machine if you're having shoulder surgery that allows you to turn the compression either down extremely low or off completely. That way you won't feel pain because the shoulder surgery is definitely not something you want to put compression on in the first two weeks. So another review is a systematic review published in the Cochrane Library examined the effectiveness of cold therapy in the management of pain after surgery. The review included 14 studies with a total of 853 participants and found that cold therapy was effective at reducing pain after surgery. Overall, the available evidence suggests that active cold compression therapy can be an effective treatment for swelling, inflammation, and pain in the post-surgery recovery process. It's important to note that specific benefits and risks of using active cold compression therapy may vary depending on the type of surgery and the individual patient. It is always recommended to consult with a healthcare professional before starting any new treatment and also to check to make sure you know how to use these machines and check your skin. We'll post the links to the studies down in the description box below. Now that you know about active cold compression therapy, 
Let me know in the comment section below if you found this video helpful and do give us a like and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and now let's get back to living.